The wrap tool, which is new in version 3.1, allows you to twist or bend your current object along the gizmo. So let's go ahead and take a look here at some of the basic parameters and settings. The first is segment count, which should be obvious. You can increase or decrease the amount of segments that are duplicated along the gizmo. You can also twist along the gizmo. And then you can overlap each segment over the previous along the gizmo. Let's take a look at some of the gizmo options here. Now, I want to note here that it will modify differently depending on the gizmo's position according to 000, zero, zero in world space and also the end effector of the gizmo. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and move the end effector of the gizmo and you'll see that it changes its position. Now, if we move along the Y, it'll duplicate along the Y. Same for the Z axis. You can also twist along all of the S these axes as well. Now let's tweak the gizmo a little bit. Let's move it along the X axis here. Okay, and let's give it some twist. Oh, let's see. Let's do 100 and... Yeah, 130 should do it. Now let's move the base of the gizmo. You'll notice that it creates a wider twist or larger circle. And of course, we can move the end effector as well. And it will change the effect very drastically. Let's change that so it's back along the X here. Now let's go along the Y. Again, very different look. Also pay notice to the position of the gizmo. You'll get some very unique looks going on here. Now let's go along the Z. Again, also very unique. And it also depends on how many segments you have as well. So I strongly encourage you to play with all the settings to see what you can create. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the bend option. Again, very different look here. Let's decrease the segments, set it back to zero, zero, zero in world space, and along the x-axis. Let's zoom in here and take a look. You can see very different look here. Let's move it out. Okay, and now let's increase the segments. Obviously very unique look. I know I keep saying that for this, but uh, this tool you can do quite a few different things with. So, as you can see, very, very drastic depending on the position of the gizmo. Let's change it so it's along the z-axis. And now let's move out the position of the gizmo. There, we've created some kind of band or bracelet. Now let's go along the y. Let's move the position up above the grid here. Okay. Move it out. Obviously very different yet again. You can also adjust the start and final angle of this. And then also one unique thing that this tool has over the twist option is forward step. You can create a stair stepping look or a spiraling look with the forward step. And of course, you can control the overlap as well to create more unique looks.